Hi folks, Donna here with another vlog. Today is a slightly different way of doing a vlog for two reasons. One, I'm 31 today. Woo! And two, uh, I wanted to review a backpack that my boyfriend got me for my birthday. I have been looking forward to this for ages now. So really ready to like proper review it and really put it to the test of how well it is. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be everything that I want it to be. <music> So the backpack that I've got, that my boyfriend has got me is a Nordis Sienna backpack, which brags lots of pockets. And for the size that it is, it can pack quite a lot in it as well. So this really took my attention and really, and this was an advertisement that I'm absolutely sick of seeing on the likes of Facebook and social media. But this one really got my attention. So I started looking at it, looking at the adverts. But this is the one advert that drew me to it. is the Nordis backpack it looks very square like um, feels nice haven't took any of the protective stuff off yet or the tags um, that will get done um, in a little while this is just like getting it out the box and my first impressions of it um, he didn't think it was very big in that but I reckon that the video rings true the advertisement and that this will be um this is what it's advertised to be inside it actually brags pockets and i am not kidding pocket pocket there's pockets down here i think there's pockets down here on this side you can't see it much because it is black um and then obviously it has the cable which you put into a portable charger pop it in the bag and there's actually a little uh, thing here where you plug your other cable in and into your phone it has here a pocket on this side which again I believe has um, a pocket here for sunglasses and that that's made of like a soft material to prevent scratches and it also has the key catch on it uh, as advertised um, and it's got quite a lot of room in this part as well. But the best part is, if you turn it over this side, there's another of the same pocket. And again, it has a pockets inside there and still quite a lot of room. So one of the two pockets, which I think this one, overlaps this pocket here to give you that little bit more room. And there's another main compartment here. And this compartment doesn't actually have pockets that i can see so you can probably put a few more bits in here as well so it could be my laptop because my laptop i don't think is like 15 inch or something so it probably would fit into that pocket instead and the last main pocket at the back is where the luggage strap is is like a special pocket to put your passport in and that a thief proof pocket um so mobile phone and that so obviously when you're going through the airport you could keep your passport in there 
Now there's no weight in this whatsoever, so I can't really tell you how these, how comfortable these will be when there's weight on and it's on your shoulders. But my first impressions of these straps is they're quite spongy. So I'd say the really good cushiony feeling on your shoulders, maybe to take the strain off your shoulders because nothing's like worse than carrying a heavy bag and you can feel the straps digging into your shoulders. So these actually feel very cushiony and soft and squishy. And he's also got me this waterproof um, cover as well, which is sold separately. I think it was only like £10 or something, but obviously that will um, protect the bag from any long, like prolonged rainy weather. So we ended up getting that as well. The bag was essentially an idea as a birthday present for me because we were going to like use it and really try it out when we went to Disney World. But now with the um, holiday being postponed until September 2021, the uses of the backpack now will be unknown. It's probably going to be useful for the likes of the Pleasure Beach and so on and so forth. So if we went on water rides and we needed a change of clothes, I could have a change of clothes in the rucksack and other bits and pieces, portable chargers, because we'll need that as well. A lot of the review videos I've been watching made by other people are... People that are sort of minimalist, like they go traveling and all they need is what is in that backpack and it can be for like a week or something. So what I want to try and do is with the advertisement video, I want to see if I can mimic all of those things that are in that bag and see if I can get those things in as well. The hairdryer is like um, a foldable compact one i don't have that mine is just literally your hair dry and your handle doesn't go in on itself so i can't do much about that but i can probably still fit it in there i want to try and do it like so maybe it could be used as like a weekend bag if we're popping up to yorkshire to see family and that when all this uh, pandemic and social distancing lift and we can go and see them and celebrate again so there is that that I could try and use it for as well. What I will do is post some links to other people who have reviewed this backpack as well. So if you're considering getting it, um, you can have a look at what they thought of with it as well. So I'll link their YouTube videos in the description below. So let's see now if I can do that video, mimic it and get all of those things into the bag. Well, these items here, I am going to try and get into that backpack there. Um, shorts I'm a little apprehensive about, but the weather can always be nice, so I always put shorts in there. But what they don't show in the video is things like socks, underwear and that. So I'm really going to put this to the test and hope. If not, then it'll be one of them where it's a couple of day bag, not an actual, say, five days, for example. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> taking these out but this section here is for toiletries and things so maybe makeup and toothpaste toothbrush so I am a person who wears very little makeup so I'd have makeup wipes to wipe them off with uh the compact mirror is in there um that's an eyeliner and that's some mascara but also that's an eyeliner and then this thing is quite chunky but I think it will go in there or it won't hold on set let me try there we go. I managed to get it in. There we go. I just needed a readjust in a bit. But there you are. And that's literally, when it comes to makeup, that is all I take with me with makeup. So if I put all these items back in here, sorry everybody, you can see me underwear. And then just pop my headphones back in there. It's a bit awkward when you're holding your phone and doing that at the same time. Then that should just fasten up again with no issue which it fastened up very well before. So 
for things like going on the plane and that it would be very ideal for things like your passport documents and stuff like that i can't do it like this hold on it took a bit of a squeeze but i managed to get it all in there uh so that is sort of what i would take with me because i am quite a minimalist for stuff like that so that is handy um i still think i'd prefer if we still took the duffel bag that we use for overnight stays and then i can obviously put other stuff or different stuff all together in here but just to test it out with like clothes and that um i'm actually quite impressed with that it did do what they advertised it as i got a load of vests in there a couple of pants and all my underwear as well and a bra so i'm i am quite impressed with that so i'm looking forward to using that a lot more so because i won't be using a laptop a massive amount of times this is going to get kept uh like in the compartment for what would be the laptop tablet bit but well, that doesn't mean to say it'll never get used for that so this is the rucksack that i've been using for a while and this is the one i'm going to put away and it still has some bits in it so i'm going to empty it out and see what's in there so it turns out i had quite a lot of crap in my bag so some of this is actually going to get sorted out and put away and the rest of it will probably be arranged into the new bag so what i've done is tidied up the bag now um i've got my perfume bits and my tiger balm in there pens and my mento sweets which sometimes i take to work with me are in there with my um vitamin tablets a, a coat always lives in a bag because sometimes you'll get the rain unexpectedly and if you get caught off guard you're expecting to be getting wet and so that'll stay in there my gopro again will stay in there like when i'm at work as well and also things like deodorant face wipes and my thumbs brush will live in that bag that compartment as well and my brolly down the side and then obviously i can put my other bottle oh it isn't on that side or i can put my bottle uh on that side as well so that is literally it and then if we go out on a day out in that all this will get swapped out which will be dead easy to do it'll take five minutes so yeah i'm really happy with this bag really happy um I would recommend getting one um, for sure. They're all over the social media advertising, so chances are you will see it. But this is getting a huge, huge thumbs up from me. So if you enjoyed the review, then please comment below what you liked about it. Um, it was no editing of how much could go in and stuff. It was literally raw, straight in there, put it to the test. So thank you for watching.